with today's tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to create a health bar for your game. I'm going to show you how to customize it. So let's jump straight into it. First things first, what we're going to want to do is go into our third person character and create two variables. Current. Let's go back. Current. Yeah, okay, whatever. Current health. Compile. We're going to set this to 100. And then we're going to want to duplicate this and leave that full health. Compile. So now I've got these both at 100, which is what we need. Then we're going to want to create a widget blueprint. Leave this HUD. And then we're just going to drag out a progress bar. Stick it about there. And then we're going to scroll down to the percent, the progress. And create a binding. Rename this function health bar. And then I'm going to cast to third person character or first person if you're using. I'm going to get player character. Put that over there. So what we do is we're going to get the full health. Get full health that we've just created in there. The two floats that we just created and get current health. Once we've got those two, we need to get a float divided by a float. Put these two up and then put it into the chat view. Compile, save. And then once we've done that, we will create a blueprint actor. We'll just name it damage taker for now I'm just going to add a particle system and I'm just going to add fire just for the purpose of the tutorial then we're going to add a box collision just put it to 1.5 make it a little bigger compile we can rename this box to whatever we want I'm going to rename it to trigger box Damage. Once done, add it again. The component we can overlap. I'm going to cast a third person character again. Object, other actor. Then we want to create a variable. Name this player is in trigger box. Drag that out and we want to make it player as in trigger box. When that's done, we're going to want to set full health. From here, we can we'll get full health first, then we'll set full health. Then what we want to do here is get a float minus float. And plug that in. This will be the amount of damage dealt. So. When the player is in the trigger box, we can choose the amount of health we want to minus from the health bar. So I'm just going to do 10. So 10% 10 of the player's health will be decreased each time. Then from there, we're going to get a branch. And we're going to condition bigger or equals to float. We'll join that one over here. And if the value of the full health is equal to zero or bigger than equal, we'll just run a command, execute control command, and we'll just do restart level. Later on, I'll show you how to create a death screen and how to respawn your character in other ways, but right now the character will just respawn straight away. And if false, we're going to drag it here and add a delay. And this will be the delay in which, which the character is dealt, the damage is dealt. So each 0 0.2 of a second, the character will lose 10% of his health. So we'll just call damage dealt time. So for, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll do one second. So each one second, 10% of the health 
will be with G25 itself for which will draw through the branch and connect that to play with each of the box. And we'll connect true back to set for her compile. Save. Alright, so last thing for this is we need to copy these two. Control W and we need to set the end overlap. So when the character is out of the trigger box, we will then stop the damage. So we'll take that off. So damage won't be dealt after he steps out of the trigger box compile. That says that is A. Compile. Save. Then that's so hard. Then we, if we can go to the third person example map, which you find the level blueprint. And we'll just go add reference. Event begin play. Create widget. Select the HUD. We'll add to viewport. Connect this up. Just put a little comment there. So we'll just call it HUD. Compile. And if we drag our damage tape into the world, let's make it a little bit better. Yep, and you can see the the health bar is now on the corner of the screen where we put it. And if we step in here, every second is we will decrease ten percent of our health each second. And um, once the health bar reaches zero, we respawn. The level restarts. So now I'm going to show you how to change that health bar and not make it look so simple. So right now in front of me, I've got a PS4 controller which is in front of me. I found an image, just typed the Google PS4 controller icon and I've loaded up Photoshop, create a new piece and just create a piece 500 by 500 pixels each. So we'll copy that image that we, that we got, just send to the image bit there. Delete background image and then we just get rid of this background as well. We then duplicate this, duplicate this layer, and then we'll just change the color, we put color of layer of red. And when this one, I think we've got a little straight. Okay, we'll just do the straight. Right, so this will be the full health bar, and this will be the empty health bar. And I'll show you what I mean now. We then want to save as health bar full. I save it as a Photoshop document, which is what I don't want. I want to save it as a PNG. Okay, close that, show that, save as, do the same again. But obviously, this is the empty, so full health bar. Empty. Okay. Then go back into your project, bring up the health bar, drag them two in, save color. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to our HUD, go back to the designer, and on style background image, we're going to change that to the health bar empty. So this is going to be the background image of the health bar, and then health bar full. Just change the position, size of it. We should do 500 by 500 as that was the pixel size of the Photoshop document. Compile, and now we can see that when the health bar is getting full, the controller image is getting full. You can put the pure color there if you like, if you just reset this appearance. Compile, save, play. And uh, to the trigger box. Now 10% of that control is getting decreased each time. And then once it's at zero, there, it's full again. I'll just show you how to change these values again. So let's just do 35. So every second you want to deal 35% damage. So it should take literally three seconds to get zero. And now I'll show you 
if you put in, um, let's say, one, or you change this time to 0 0.1. So every one second, it will still take away. So it'll just do it a lot quicker. Um, that's it. So thank you for watching. Next time I'll show you guys how to create a death screen. And um, yeah.